saint of the day. Today we celebrate Saint Clara Fay. On May the 8th we commemorate the life and legacy of Saint Clara Fay, a remarkable woman who dedicated her life to the education and care of disadvantaged children. Born on April the 11th, 1815, in Aachen, Germany. Clara Fay grew up in a devout Catholic family that instilled in her a deep love for God and a strong sense of compassion for those in need. Clara Fay is primarily known for founding the Institute of the Sisters of the Poor Child, Child God Jesus, also known as the Sisters of Mary, inspired by the teachings of Jesus and the gospel message of love and mercy. She dedicated herself to the service of the poor, particularly orphaned and neglected children. Clara believed that every child deserved a loving home and a quality education, and she worked tirelessly to provide them with both. In her ministry, St. Clara Fay understood the importance of nurturing the spiritual and intellectual growth of the children entrusted to her care. She recognized that education was not solely about acquiring knowledge, but about forming the whole person and helping children discover their inherent dignity as beloved children of God. Her profound commitment to education echoes the teachings of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which states the following. Parents have the first responsibility for the education of their children. They bear witness to this responsibility first by creating a home where tenderness, forgiveness, respect, fidelity and disinterested service are the rule. The home is well suited for education and the virtues. This requires an apprenticeship in self-denial, sound judgment and self-mastery, the preconditions of all true freedom. CCCC 2223. St. Clara Fay's work embodied this vision of education as she created homes and schools where children could experience love, discipline, and guidance, all aimed at fostering their growth and virtue and preparing them to embrace the challenges of life with faith and courage. With deep conviction, St. Clara Fay once said, I have nothing, but I have everything in God. This statement encapsulates her profound trust in God's providence and her willingness to rely on divine grace in the face of adversity. Her life serves as an inspiring example of selflessness, perseverance and unwavering faith. Let us now pause and reflect on the life and the virtues of St. Clara Fay, asking for her intercession and guidance in our own efforts to serve those in need. May we learn from her example of selfless love and unwavering trust in God, as we strive to provide a difference in the lives of others. Dear St. Clara Fay, you dedicated your life to the care and education of vulnerable children. Help us to embrace the responsibility of nurturing the young and forming their hearts and minds. Guide us in creating homes and communities where love, mercy and compassion are guiding principles. Intercede for us that we may imitate your selfless love and find fulfillment in serving others. Amen. From a friend of Our Lady.